Region 20 Lacrosse, Howard Community College hosting Harford Community College. Howard enters ranked fourth in the nation. Dragons are in line for the top seed in the Region 20 tournament, but it'll be interesting to see how they respond to their lopsided loss at Genesee, which was just three days ago. Harford enters ranked sixth in the nation. The Fighting Owls five and two overall, two and one in the region, and seeking their first win against Howard since 2014. First quarter early lead for Howard. Ian Decker behind the cage, inside roll, and he beats the goalie high. Decker leading the NJCAA in goals with 41. Decker with the ball on his stick again, draws two, gets the defense moving. Alex Stefanos hits the top right corner, three goal lead for the Dragons. Hartford's man up unit moving the ball nicely. Fighting Owls put in two unanswered. After a Harford failed clear, Howard gets going in transition. Howard's attack showcasing its passing and chemistry. Chris Reinhardt hits Will Smith on the crease, right in the stick, and Smith finishes with his left. Maybe some of that confidence is starting to return. Harford's offense drawing slides, giving Howard all kinds of problems in the second quarter. Chandler Schmidt, tremendous high to low shot, makes it a one goal game. More from Howard's attack unit. Reinhardt with a flashy finish. 8-6 Howard. Hartford goalie Chris Stallings with the save, but he throws it right to Stefanos, who connects with Will Smith. Deceptive finish from the Dragons captain. Dragons carry a two goal lead into the break. Third quarter, Jake McKenzie to Smith. Buries it. Howard extends its lead to three. Harford looking to keep up. Dragon goalie TJ Ellis, tough save. Hits the turf to block the well-placed high to low shot. Crucial save at an important moment in the game. Austin Norton dodging. Forces the issue. Gets the defense moving. Hits Will Smith on the doorstep. Dragons starting to separate themselves. Five goal lead for Howard. Jake Pike on the run. To Smith, low release, and he scores. Seven goal, three assist day for Will Smith. The transfer from D3 Lynchburg moves up to second in the nation with 59 points, right behind Decker. Fourth quarter, five minutes remaining. Smith hits Decker for the man up tally. Eight goal lead for Howard. Time is running out on the Fighting Owls. Harford takes the man down faceoff. Parker Lindsay with the trail check and he wins it back for Howard. Lindsay smashes it in with a long pole. Howard outscores Harford 11 to four in the second half. The Dragons win it 21 to 12. And much needed win against Hartford. What are your thoughts following this game? I think our offense, we put up some good numbers, but a lot of turnovers and you know, we let up too many goals. So just what's the whole feel and the whole message around the team right now? After I know you had a tough weekend, but right now, what are you all saying to each other, you and your teammates? Uh, look at yourself, do your own job. Don't worry about everybody else. Just work on what you can control. So now that you've played uh, Hartford, you've played Anne Arundel, how do you feel about Region 20 compared to last year? And just what do you think the state of Region 20 is right now? It's pretty similar. Uh, I feel like we it's ours to win, ours to lose. Um, and if we just play our game and we don't mess up too much, then I think we can get the region championship. Ian, was there any detail about this game today that stuck out in your mind that you'll think about? Um, no one per play in particular, but um, it was good to see us getting more transition than usual, and that's something that we were lacking from last year, which really helped our team go far. So hopefully that carries through in the future. I know the team was disappointed following the loss to Genesee. Take us inside the practice yesterday. What was the practice like? Were you happy with it? Oh, yeah, we did our practice yesterday. We had off Monday, but yesterday was a good day. 
Um, offense was working hard. Defense, we, we seemed to get back in our groove, but often we, we play better in practice. But I felt like today we did a little bit better in the second half, so we were in practice for them. So I know you're a captain on the team. You're a leader. How, how are you reading your teammates right now? Like, what's the, what's the feel around the team in terms of where you guys are compared to where you want to be? Are you happy right now? I think we're just trying to stay positive, and we know we can do it. So we just got to um, carry through with the momentum we had in the second half and uh, just, yeah, stay positive. So I know the tough loss against Genesee uh, took a lot of people by surprise, myself included. Yeah. So what do you think What do you think went wrong, not like one specific thing, but in general, what do you think went wrong up in Batavia, New York against Genesee? Well, we weren't getting our clears, and offense, we had a lot of opportunities, and we were taking taking the first opportunity and not waiting for, for the best opportunity, um, and we know we can get them. So as long as we're patient and we, we're working on our clears and we're not forcing the ball, um, next time around we should have a better showing. So I know the, the program goal is to get you all playing lacrosse at the next level, at the you know a level where you could contribute. So give us an update on where Ian Decker's headed right now, or you know just a guess. Um, uh, if I if I'm playing next year, it'll be at UMBC. Uh, what attracts you to the Retrievers program that you think you know would be the why do you think UMBC would be the right choice? Well, I've uh, visited a few times and I've seen like a good group of guys, and it's real close to my house, so. I think it'd be a nice opportunity. It's a good program, up and coming. Got a good head coach. So, Parker, big win for your program today. What are your thoughts following the win against Hartford? Um, it was a good team win. You know, we fought, even though we were down a little. We got down on ourselves, but we just fought back and got better as a group. Played a better second half, and we're happy we got the dub. How'd you feel about your goal? <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. You know, I wasn't even really expecting it. I just got the ball from one of the defensive. I look up, next thing you know, I'm one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, and I was just like, all right, let me just finish. So, How about the celebration? What were you uh, looking to do there? It, looks, <laughs> it was The fans were loving it. It was, it was a little Fortnite ce celebration if no one knew what it was. It's a dumb video game. That's a huge craze right now. So, that, <laughs> that's, yeah. It was something I just kind of felt in my head real quick. I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so... Well, it's good to see you having fun out there. So how do you feel about, you know, the positivity? Ian was saying that the message right now is you guys to be positive. How do you feel about where it is with the positivity right now? It's good right now. Uh, you know, following that Genesee loss, we kind of got down and so got negative, but we just kind of focused and regrouped together. And we're like, we need to play for one another, play together. If we do that, then the rest will take care of itself. So... Parker, I know the program goal is to send players to four-year schools where they'll contribute. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything in mind right now for yourself? Um, I've been thinking around a couple schools. I really haven't made a decision yet. Uh, see, like New Newberry's one. I got um, what's the other one? It's blanking on me. Uh, Chawan down at North Carolina. You know, Newberry's at South Carolina. I really just haven't made a decision, so I'm still kind of deciding but hopefully whatever I pick will be a good choice for me and it will be a great opportunity. So what are you looking to do in your future with uh, your education and you know, playing lacrosse? Is there any role you're looking for at the next level? Like school-wise? Uh, school and, and lacrosse. Uh, look, I mean, you know, lacrosse-wise, all of these, they'll go play for uh, D1, D2, or D3. Uh, Education-wise, it's just somewhere where I know I'll get a good get education. Uh, what I plan on going on into is sociology after this year. Um, hopefully the school I choose to go has a good sociology program and it will lead me to a better career.